hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel how ability i hope everyone is doing fine so today i'm back with Tina. <laughs> so yeah today we we'll just uh, make a beautiful video uh, on the channel it's about Ooh. This is how I just teach me how to cook this food from uh, Jini food. Yeah, What's Riga. Riga. Yeah. So if you want to watch the video how mm -hmm. to uh, make this special food, you can go to my channel to yeah. watch it. Yeah. But for now, mm -hmm. so in this video we will be talking about like relationship since uh, I'm married and she's married. But unfortunately, my husband is far away from me. He's living in Europe and for her she's living here with her husband so we're gonna talk about two topics the first topic is um, how to handle let's say how can you manage your long distance relationship and for her she's gonna talk about how to manage living with your husband because sometimes it can be hard so Okay, so the thing is, first, uh, I think the key for any relationship in a marriage or um, this uh, couple, the key is uh, communication. You have to communicate with each other. That's very important. Um, yes, uh, sometimes couples, they do uh, communicate but they don't uh, achieve effective communication. Effective yes. communication is very important because everyone can communicate but nothing uh, nothing to achieve like there is no solution for that if you communicate that means you want to find solution to uh, solve any problem that are bothering any of you and then mm -hmm. you have to uh, communicate and try to find the solution to achieve the effective communication yeah that's mm -hmm. that's true uh, as like for my, uh, for my side i can say the same thing like especially when you are but, but you are like like me and my husband we stay together and so if like uh, mm -hmm. that I'm sometimes like we women we have bad moods, right? Yeah, that, definitely. Yeah, my husband can see I have bad mood, and then uh, he will approach me mm -hmm. like, why, what happened? But like for you, mm -hmm. like you, uh, you yeah. are in long distance relationship. How do you manage that? Yeah. So like for us, for example, let's say when I'm in bad mood, I will, you know, tell to my husband that today I'm not in good mood so be careful with me <laughs> yeah <laughs> like <Not really. laughs> when we're talking the phone like let's say you know lady when we are seeing let's say our period like we get very moody you know? mm -hmm. we don't want to talk we are very sad so yeah. sometimes I just tell him like like Hayati I'm sorry but today I'm not feeling well he will be okay it's okay so he will just very with me you know because he also wants to try to understand me so even though i'm sad or i'm feeling some type of uh, some type of way so he will just understand me and i think that came with communication if i don't tell him and i just keep like sad or moody yeah, yeah. And he might like not him. exactly he might not understand so i think you have to communicate yeah. even he if you like, like yeah happening? exactly he will be like confused why she's moody today why she's sad so i have to tell him especially because he's not here with me so i think it's very important you have to communicate you have to tell everything like if you're feeling bad you're feeling happy you're feeling like you know anything you just tell to yeah. your partner you know that's one key but what about uh trust because you are like uh, far away from each other yeah. how, how do you build that trust <laughs> Yeah, so first of all, before getting married, there are certain points I, you know, talk with my husband, like we speak about it. Mm -hmm. And the first thing is that I don't like this. Um, like, for example, we are married, we are together. Yeah, this that's is the including thing. communication. Yeah, and, yeah, that's including communication. Mm -hmm. So I told him that this type of thing I don't like. He also told me that how are these kind of things? I don't like it. So let's say for example going out at night mm -hmm. how i don't like it. my husband told me i said okay that's you know i'm someone who doesn't like to go out so yeah. it's a plus for me you know so i was happy i said okay no problem then he always tell me the things he doesn't like i also tell him the things he doesn't like so even though he's not here mm -hmm. when like i'm doing something i know oh my husband doesn't like this mm -hmm. so i avoid doing that mm -hmm. you know since he knows like 
I know that he doesn't like me to go out often, so I try to, you know, yeah, just stay at yeah, home. Yeah, stay at home, you know, but avoid that. Do you like sometimes mm -hmm. you have like um, anxiety about uh, it? Yeah, anxiety or like you feel uh, insecure about it or you feel like you have trust issues, like, like you, no. no, no, because it's all about love. You know, sorry, you know when you, you fell in love like with someone, you guys are deeply in love mm -hmm. like whatever he do, mm -hmm. he lets you know mm -hmm. oh how I'm going to the gym, oh this is my working time I know like his mm -hmm. timetable, like the time he start working, mm -hmm. the time he finish working the time like he no, but he, he also makes sure that you feel secure like exactly. you don't let you like, just uh, confuse or wonder exactly. like, what he's doing exactly yeah. Yeah. So that's the point, like he knows everything about me and I know everything about him, you know. So for example, right now, I just have to check the time, I know, oh, he's working now. Mm. Or I just check the time, I know, oh, this is his free time, you know. So I know all his timetable. Oh. So let's say if he finished working, usually he finished working at 11 in Malaysia, 11 time. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in his place is like 5. So let's say he finished working and I check the time it's 11 here and he doesn't oh, call no me. Wonder, oh, no wonder you uh, sleep uh, late. Exactly. That's why I sleep late because when he finished working it's 11. So I cannot sleep. I have to talk to him. Same, same like yeah. when my husband went back to Jimmy last year. Yeah. Because I, I, I don't go with him. Yeah. And then uh, same, I have to sleep at 4, 4 5 a.m. in the morning because mm -hmm. the timing like of course, I, I want to talk with my husband. Exactly. So we have to wait. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, that's the one thing people don't understand. When you are in a distance relationship, you guys have to commit. You guys have to understand, you know. Yeah. It's like you have yeah. to sacrifice something, you know. You have to accept. Since I know he's working, mm -hmm. I'm not working. So I have to accept that, like, wait until 11 when he's finished mm -hmm. working. Then, uh, like, like, you know, mm -hmm. no. Because we stay with each other. So. Mm -hmm. But same things like sometimes when my husband went out like for the whole day, yeah. um, if he don't tell me, I will get like uh, what's happening. Mm -hmm. I, I will not think, uh, think like badly about mm -hmm. um, like if uh, he mm -hmm. did something. But mm -hmm. I will think like what what's happening. It just it just make me worry like oh. uh, yeah if something happened mm -hmm. to him yeah then, yeah yeah yeah, yeah we, do, I don't really have that trust issue but mm -hmm. just like. No, I, I definitely get you because sometimes it also happens to me. Mm -hmm. Like for let's say my husband is he finish working mm -hmm. and he gets very tired, then uh, he fell asleep. asleep. Mm -hmm. Because imagine working from morning until five. Sometimes it's tiring. So sometimes after working, before he used to sleep like one hour, two hour, three hour. After that he would SMS mm -hmm. me. Are you like awake? Mm -hmm. If I'm awake, we will talk. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I get pissed off. Why you don't call me? Uh. Like. You know, I'm worried maybe something happened yeah. to you this is the time you usually call me. He said, No, have you feel like I was just tired, mm -hmm. you know? So sometimes when he doesn't call me straight when finishing work, mm -hmm. I just think, Oh, maybe he's busy, mm -hmm. you know? I SMS him when he's like not responding. Mm -hmm. I would feel sad, but yeah. <laughs> you know, I just understand yeah, it. Just, because just, like for us, yeah, we just worry, like, mm -hmm. mostly why, like, we just yeah. get worried. Like oh, what happened? Yeah. It, does something happen to you? Mm -hmm. like that? Yeah. yeah. So I have one question I want to ask. So since uh, m my relationship is long distance relationship, so I haven't really have the experience of living with my husband for so long. You know, so I wanna know how it feel like to share your personal space with someone else. Like, how do you feel? It? Do you feel like? Oh, it's too much. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, it's not really. It just when when you are married, like you have to share everything. Even yeah. even though like you feel like oh, no, this is this is uh, my personal space, mm -hmm. but you have to to get used to it because if you keep thinking like no, this is my personal space, then mm -hmm. you, you will like if something happens, it will keep bothering you. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you have to get used to it, and mm -hmm. then. Uh, when first when you first get married and then mm -hmm. you start to see with each other, yeah. uh, at that time you just want to about to know the real mm -hmm. person, the yeah. real who, both of you, and then uh, you have to adapt. And then at yeah. that time you have you will 
mostly people say like the first year of any marriage, mm -hmm. they will be have too much uh, quarrel because <laughs> because That's both true. both of you just about to uh, adapt to each yeah. other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in marriage, you need a lot of patience. Like for yeah. wife itself, uh, ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, we need to uh, sacrifice a lot because. Yeah. Uh, even in Islam, like it says, we need to uh, follow our husband. Mm -hmm. So it's very important because, like yeah. for me, for me myself, I many people will ask me like mm -hmm. uh, how, yeah. um, like they don't agree with their husband, mm -hmm. like how. But this uh, this marriage, like you yeah. have to follow your husband. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Oh yeah, be okay. okay. You say, oh, husband. it's me, me, me all the time. Like I want to be happy. I wanna be, and they forget to think about the partner yeah. side. You know, if you are in like like any relationship, you have to think twice. You don't have to think only you, you, yeah, you, you. Not, you know, you have to think about three. Yeah, exactly. the mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. Uh, like the husband, mm -hmm. the wife, and the marriage itself. Yeah. It's just not about the. Uh, but for me, I want to be happy. I want to be like. This exactly. Month. Yeah. You have to think about like a lot of things together. Mm -hmm. Let's say you want to dress sexy, nice, and everything, and your husband is like, "No, I don't like that." Mm -hmm. Just change, you know, because you are not dressing to make people happy. You're dressing for yourself and your habibi. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Some people they just get crazy about that. I I can do whatever I want, but seriously, if you are in marriage, you have to think about your partner also. That's something very important, you know. Is it enjoying my food? <laughs> I'm not even eating because I'm too much focused, you know. So <laughs> I wanna enjoy the food. So we will end this video. But before ending the video, I wanna speak uh, about one last topic, which is uh, inter interracial couple like. Yeah, marriage. So people think that when you you get married with white or with black men or let's say with another race, it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be nice, but let me tell you something. In any relationship, it's different. It doesn't matter the color, the race, the age, it doesn't matter. It's understanding. It's you know between individuals. Exactly. It's just you don't, even related to exactly. You don't have to say, oh, because I see my friend she's with Arab men or she's with a black men or let's say African men, like oh I want to do the same thing. Habibti, no. <laughs> That's wrong. Just try to find someone who like you, someone who understands you, someone who loves you as the way you are, but not someone who just like you because of your physical or because of your it's just beautiful because beauty can be gone but when you fall in love with the heart i think like that's something will, yeah. yeah it will last forever yeah. yeah so what you have to say as conclusion yeah. for this topic yeah for me it's the same just mm -hmm. like my previous video i mentioned that yeah. um like because we as um, women we don't want to mm -hmm. We don't want to uh, downgrade each other. We just want to mm -hmm. help uh, each other. We want all of our sisters to be happy. So make sure to to choose uh, nicely, carefully, not to fall not to fall in love with uh, from physical. Mm -hmm. Make sure, make sure that um, you understand each other mm -hmm. and that you can communicate with each other. Yeah, yeah. So. So yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And if you want to check her video, you can also go. I know I have a lot of followers from her. So thank you guys so, so much for subscribing. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. So see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>